complexity. We are surrounded by it. We are made up of it. Complex systems can be elegant and inspiring. They can also be frightening, dangerous, and overwhelming. Can you and your organization solve climate change, deforestation, or environmental degradation by yourself? Can you and your organization create a groundswell of transformative support for your environmental issue when there are thousands trying to do the exact same thing for their own issues? Does transformative change require transformative strategic planning? Currently, organizations and nonprofits create brands. These brands have a mission statement and organizational strategy. Every product, every service they create must adhere to their brand. If there is a choice between performing a service that is useful and sacrificing their brand, the organization or nonprofit today will choose their brand. It is their strategy to survive. Here is how it works. Find a very selective audience. Not just men or environmentally aware individuals. Instead, a niche market could look like this. Men, ages 18 to 35, who live in Minnesota, make between $35,000 to $50,000 a year, vote Democratic, have a degree in engineering and or mathematics from the University of Minnesota, are married, have kids, and have donated at least $500 to environmental organizations in the past year. That is your market. Now you create a brand to appeal to this niche audience. You create a mission statement. You create services and products that are an expression of your brand. Everything you do must always look and sound like you. This strategy might work for solving small problems, but what about the complicated ones, like climate change? This strategy doesn't work. Why? Too many organizations are split up, wasting time and resources to be themselves and work on their own individual issue areas. Organizations and nonprofits compete with each other for donations, volunteers, and media attention. But what if we stop thinking about our brands for a moment? What if instead of looking at other organizations and nonprofits as competitors, we saw them as part of the solution? What if our strategic planning was based on creating a solution that transcended brands? Could that work better? We've tried the old way, and that has not gotten us very far. Perhaps it is time for a transformative approach. Here are three organizations that could be models for a new way forward. The Science of Team Science promotes team-based research on complex problems. They approach complexity by bringing together thought leaders from a broad range of disciplines, communications, psychology, translational research, complex systems, and technology. The Grand Vision took a different approach to regional planning. They brought together leaders from organizations working in natural resources, agriculture, growth and investment, housing, transportation, and energy to create a 50-year vision for the future. They launched a civic engagement process that had 13,000 residents participate. The Transdisciplinarity Network in Europe looks into socially relevant problems in an interdisciplinary manner and to develop effective strategies for politics, economy, and society. Their focus is to bridge the gap from research to practical application in the real world. Each of these groups follows a fundamental principle. Do not create a plan and then seek collaboration on your plan. Instead, identify the problem, and then bring together various thought leaders to better understand the scope of the problem. This leads to better understanding and more inclusive strategic planning. Complex problems require comprehensive solutions. It's time to stop working on our own. <laughs>